Well, not too long ago, Punxsutawney Field predicted six more weeks of winter, <laughs> and well, we know we're going to have at least one more week of winter here in Southeast Texas. Big Al over at Gator Country agreed as well, Day mm -hmm. Shanique. And tonight, 12 News reporter Jordan J uh, James Grant rather explains that this is really the time to start preparing in and around your homes. As Southeast Texans brace for what could be a cold blast, there's a few things you should check on around your house, including your pipes. Melanie Staley with Premium Plumbing in Beaumont says any type of insulation you can find at your local hardware store, such as peel and stick foam insulation, should do the job in protecting your outdoor pipes against the extreme cold. Staley also recommends Southeast Texans drain any water from outdoor hoses ahead of this weekend. She says it's best to cover your hose bibs. That's the part that connects your water hose to your home. If you don't have a faucet cover, Staley says you can still use a a towel or cloth to try and keep it warm. It's also smart to turn your sink on slightly, just a slow drip, to keep a little water moving through the pipes, which can help prevent pipes from busting. But if a pipe does bust, the first thing you want to do is go get the water turned off so it's not moving or flowing anymore. Brad Davis, who owns Perfect Air in Coons, says it's important to make sure you have a proper heating source in your home. A furnace, central heating, or a space heater will do the job. But you've got to be careful. If you plan on using your furnace, test it beforehand and make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector set up and ready to go. Turn it up or it'll run for, for an hour or so and um, it may be a little warmer than you like, but you can at least uh, put that um, that risk aside and you know you're good. It's important to clean your furnace or electric heaters and leave space around them to prevent a fire. If clothes or something combustible is sitting in front of it, if it you know, uh, there's no safety built in to keep a fire from happening in, in that way. As Staley put it, these precautions could take a little extra time and effort now, but could save you a lot of money in the end. In Beaumont, James Grant, 12 News. Good reminders, James. We've made it easy for you to track this approaching storm. Get your phone out and download our 12 News Now app. From there, you'll want to go into the settings, specifically the notification settings. You'll want to turn on severe weather alerts. You can customize your location. And again, once you turn on the alerts, uh, turn on the watches and warnings, including the red badge notifications, then you'll make sure that you receive everything right there on your phone.